Despite markets around the world ending on a down note in 2018, new data from NABTRADE shows investors are continuing to look to the share market to grow their wealth. Interestingly, fresh data from NABTRADE shows that while turnover among the older generations continued to grow, it was Gen Z and Gen Y who recorded the biggest gains, up 73% and 20% respectively in the 12 months to 31st of December 2018. These are serious investors. They are looking very seriously at local and international markets. They're buying brands they know and they're investing for the long term. The younger generations appreciate the value of diversification and they both hold substantial ETF and LIC positions, including the ASX 200 and S&P 500 exposure. Total domestic turnover rose 2% in the 12 months to the 31st of December 2018 the number of actual customers, so new people entering the share market, rose 13%. There was some movement in portfolio construction. Baby boomers and Gen X investors reduced their overall exposure to financials, consumer discretionary and telcos, but increased their holdings in healthcare, consumer staples and materials. This reflects their concerns about some of the headwinds facing those sectors they left behind, but also reflects how heavily overweight they've been in some of those areas. The top 10 domestic buys among baby boomers and Gen X remain traditional blue chip stocks such as NAB, CBA, Westpac, DHP and Telstra, while top picks among Gen Z and Gen Y were A2 Milk, Afterpay, AMP and the ASX 200 ETF. Demand for international shares accelerated nearly 30% in 2018, with online trade soaring 38% among Gen Z investors, 32% for Gen X and 31% for Gen Y. The number of new customers entering international markets rose by 32%, led predominantly by younger investors. Gen Y investors now represent the largest cohort of investors who traded in international shares last year. These investors are generally pursuing two key themes, the rise of technology and the rise of the Asian consumer, and they're choosing to do that directly in the US or in Asian markets. This is really visible in our top 10 international shares last year. Among some of the top international buyers for investors last year were Tencent, Tesla, Facebook, Netflix, Alibaba, Apple, Amazon, and Visa. In fact, Berkshire Hathaway was the only non-tech stock that's in the top 10. It's a really interesting stock. This is Warren Buffett's uh, investment company. It's been around for a very long time. There are two classes of shares, which you may be aware of. There's a class A share, which is worth over 350,000 Australian dollars, just one share. And there are class B shares, which are worth substantially less than that. Most of our investors are buying class B, but all keen to get on board with uh, the most famous investor in the world.